moving on. Imagine living in 21st century Ghana without electricity. That is the plight of more than 1,500 residents at Diokokrom in the eastern region. According to traditional leaders there, all efforts to draw the attention of government to their plight have proved futile. The result? Public workers posted there are refusing to work. Joseph Opokugapo was in the community and came through with this report. Diodokrom is one of the oldest communities in the Ayinswa North District of the Eastern Region. It's a farming community with residents growing mainly cocoa and maize. For residents here, their biggest headache is that more than 60 years after the construction of the Akosombo Dam, they are yet to see electricity, leaving them disappointed in political authority. Ochiameng Bedu is the chief linguist in the community. We have been looking for it to light since the time of former President Rollins. We have been made to pay lots of money for this, but we still don't have light. Doctors and other health workers refuse posting here because they can't even own a fridge to keep their food. For the queen mother here, Ohima Buche, the plight of school children with them being unable to learn at night is a problem that requires urgent attention. She feels Diodukrum has been neglected because all nearby communities have benefited from electricity extension over the last few years. We have JHS and even a clinic here, but children are unable to learn at night, thereby affecting their education. We plead with government to intervene as soon as possible and help extend lights here. A resident, Isaac Opare, is worried the community has not developed socioeconomically over the years as a result of the absence of electricity. Most of the teachers live in nearby communities. Sometimes they don't come to work, so it makes life difficult for us. In fact, the general development of the community has been negatively affected as a result of the absence of electricity. We want government to help us. Their plea is simple. They are calling for an immediate intervention by the rural electrification project so that electricity is extended there. For Joy News, Joseph Opokugapo reporting. Now, government says it will be difficult to roll out more road projects across the country this year because the roads fund is in distress. The Mahama administration, according to government, incurred a debt of 11.1 billion cities last year, which government is struggling to pay back. According to Deputy Roads Minister Kwabuno Wusu Adiyomi, it will take the ministry up to 10 years of its annual budget to clear all those debts. He however says they will be focusing on rehabilitating existing ones. The fund is not doing that well at all. Um, when the uh, fuel levy was approved, uh, the, 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 the whole uh, joy was that um, the contractors areas that we always carry from one year to the other was going to be very minimal, very minimal. Unfortunately, because of mismanagement of the resources, now the root fund has a lot of arrears to pay. As at the end of December 2016, 506 million cities were carried to, the, to this 20 year 2017, which shouldn't have been so. And, and how much of that was accrued over the final six months? Uh, the, the, the final six months, that's what I'm saying, that when all payments were made at the end of December 2016, 506 million were carried over to 2017. But we shouldn't have been so because 2015, when I was a ranking member of Roads and Transport Committee, we did the assessment, work done, with projects under road fund, projects under consolidated fund. The total amount spent was a little over 1.3 billion Ghana cities. So when the fuel levy came in and the projection was that we were going to have about 1.2 million Ghana cities, we were all happy. 
So we all give our blessings and we all approved, supported that we should have that full levy, hoping that at the end of each year, you will carry very little amounts at arrears to the What police. contributed to this, do you think? The what contributed to this one was that many, many projects had been awarded. In projects that were awarded the last half of the year, this is about 11.1 .1 billion Ghana cities. So if this new ministry or this new government is not to do anything at all, then it will take us about 10 years to pay for this. You're watching News Desk on Joy News.